Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about our intake and exhaust fans. What we had to do to these guys over here to make them run at their maximum speed without the propellers cracking. So, if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking to set up a GPU farm such as this one here. Or an ASIC farm, go to CryptoLLC.org, we'll help you with that. Or if you're looking to buy yourself some GPUs, we sell GPUs on our website, 3080s, 3090s. We also sell ASICs, six, uh, S19 Pros, S19Js, and so on. All right, so we got these fans from Uline. And we noticed that these fans, their propellers crack if you run them for a long time at maximum speed. So we had to replace the propellers, we had to buy some special you know, adapters and things like that to make them work. You can see this one, I just gotta show you guys. It's on maximum speed, on high. So when it's on high, it's actually spinning at 22,000 CFM, so really, really fast airflow. And all four of these are on high. So at high, they use around uh, eight amps, eight, nine amps at 204 volts. So you can throw that in the math, throw it in the, not in the math, throw it in the calculator and get yourself the uh, watt usage for the high setting. Now, to make it run at high, like I said, it breaks the propellers, right? It breaks the fins. So to fix that problem, we actually had to get special propellers here. It's these ones right over here. You can see how thick they are. They're nice and thick, They're really sturdy, really, really tough metal, steel, and they're pretty heavy too. Well, for the size of it. Compared to the original, so these are the original ones. They weigh a lot less. They look flimsy. You know, they're not really high quality fans. These are the ones that came with Uline. So they're just not good quality. And we had to replace some because they were just cracking. You know, they, they weigh a lot less. And where they were cracking was at these, uh, what are these called? Uh, shoot, I forgot the name of them. Pop, poplins or whatever it is. Something P. I forget the name of them. But it just cracks right there. And <clears throat> because of that crack, we had to just get rid of the whole thing. Because then it just spins and eventually just, the whole thing just rips apart. This whole thing just rips to pieces causes it to get stuck inside the the uh, fan unit and then the whole thing just stops spinning you see it give you an idea of that so once once it cracks the whole thing will just rip into this plastic and get stuck and the mo motor will just stop and the whole fan will be down until we you know take it apart and try to fix it so we came to the realization that we actually just need to replace the whole entire um, propeller just put one of these guys on there and then these don't crack at all and after we did that we actually could start running it at maximum speed because before we couldn't we couldn't run it at maximum speed because of that cheap fin anyway after doing that we are now able to run at maximum speed you can see these fans over here it's exhaust and let me show you guys around this area, well, the other side of the fans. Also, give you guys an idea of how we're, uh, you know, drawing the air. Actually, pulling it through the first layer or first row, kind of like a layer of heat, and dissipates it between, and then whatever is left goes through the second layer and goes out the exhaust. Does a really good job. It's really cool in here. Um, I don't feel the heat at all. It's not like an accumulation. It's not when you open the door and you walk in here and you feel heat. You actually don't feel it because it's this exhaust where it does a really good job of blowing out all that hot air. And all these fans are spin at a very, very, very fast rate. They suck in a lot of air and they blow it just right past these uh, rigs. So the rigs stay nice and cool. Anyway, so these ones, all their fans are replaced. All the uh, propellers were replaced on these fans. So they are all at maximum speed. 
All right, so that's something to consider if you're thinking of purchasing yourself some uh, some uh, fans, you know, such as uh, Uline. Let me fix that focus there. Uh, such as Uline over there, if you're looking to buy yourself like fans like that size, but make sure that the, the propellers on them are good quality. You know, make sure you read the data spec on there or data sheet. Get yourself an idea. You know, will it handle it? You know, how much what's the CFM? Read some reviews, things like that. Because uh, if you're going to be running at 24/7 at a very very fast rate, like 22,000 CFMs, and spinning really fast, you got to make sure that those those propellers can handle it. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you want to buy yourself some GPUs, set up an ASIC or a GPU mining farm such as this one. And if you are uh, <clears throat> looking for any of our other social media accounts, maybe you don't trust YouTube or maybe you don't trust Twitter, we have Gab, Parler, Mines, BitChute, Rumble. So make sure you guys subscribe to those other ones. Alternative social media uh, networks. That's going to be it for this one. Until next time. Bye.